first 14 minutes and 35 seconds. The current date is 15, 5, 2020. Good evening, sir. Jarvis in your service. Please tell me how can I help you. Search on Wikipedia Python. Searching. Python is an interpretive, high level, general purpose programming language. Created by Peter Ben Rossum and first released in 1991, Python's design philosophy emphasizes code readability with its notable use of significant wiki space. Search on Wikipedia Artificial Intelligence. Searching. In computer science, artificial intelligence, the un, sometimes called machine intelligence, is intelligence demonstrated by machines, in contrast to the natural intelligence displayed by humans and animals. Leading AI textbooks define the field as the study of intelligent agents, any device that receives its environment and takes actions that maximize its chance of successfully achieving its goals. Go offline, Javis. So as you guys saw, uh, our AI assistant is able to search on Wikipedia as well. So in this video, we will try to add a uh, email feature or yes, sending email feature using our Javis assistant and we will be implementing that feature in this video. So for that, we will be using a library called SMTP Lib. So using that library, we can easily uh, use our email to send emails through our Javis AI assistant. So so now, first of all, we will uh, we need to uh, import this library, which is SMTP Lib. For that, uh, we will go at the top of our program and import SMTP Lib. So it is a built-in module in Python, so we don't need to install it externally. So we will import this library, and uh, what we will do is, uh, so first of all, we will create an uh, function for this for sending this uh, email so i will just uh, come back here uh, before the main main function and i will create a send email uh, function so i will do send email and i will name it as send email and we use this function to send email to our receiver so uh, we will pass two parameters here that will be true and uh, that will contain the uh, receiver's email id and we will also add Content. So the content of or the uh, the content what we want to send to the user, we will add it here. And in this, we will create a variable named server. And in this server variable, we will do SMTP lib dot SMTP. And in here, we will first of all give it SMTP dot gmail dot com. So we are going to use our Gmail account to send this email. So we are going to use smtp.gmail.com and we, will, we also need to provide the port which we are going to use. So the Gmail usually uses 587 port and after that we will do server.echo and also uh, after it we will do server. Start. It is a predefined function in the SMTP lib, which will be uh, we will need to send the email, and we also need to do server dot login. These two uh, line of code will be used for checking the connection with the SMTP of uh, Gmail, and after that we will do server dot login. So we will log in into our account here. So we will first of all pass a string here. So in this string we need to provide our Gmail account. So I am not going to enter my Gmail account here. So you can add a Gmail account here. So for example, it is abc abc gmail.com and we will separate it by comma and you can add your password here. So for example, it is 123 and you can add your password here. In the next uh, line, we will do server dot send. So first of all, we need to log in into our Gmail account, and then after that, we will do server dot send mail. So it will try to send our mail. So first of all, we need to give the wow. our email ID here. So that was it. Gmail.com, and we want to separate it with commas, and we want to give our recipient address so we want to add our variable which we are getting which is two and we want our content to be passed here whatever we are going to uh, code it in the main function we will get the content from our main function and after that uh, at, at, at the end of this uh, function i am going to create a server dot close so it will close our session from this uh, 
SMTP lib. And after doing that, we will go into our main function and uh, we will create an, another elif statement for checking for our uh, checking for our uh, send email function. So we will do uh, we will pass a string send email. If our command contains send email, then uh, it should send the email using this. Uh, uh, send email function which we created now. So in this function, first of all we will do try. We will create a try catch block or try accept block, and we do try. So we want our AI assistant to uh, ask for our message or the content of the email. So we will do try, and in script we will pass the string what should I say. And our AI assistant will ask us the content or what message or what email we want to send. And after that, we will do uh, get the content. So we will do content equals to take command. We will call the take command function here. So using this function, we will get the content of our email. And after that, we will do set our we will call our send email function which we created. So we will do send email take command function and after that we need to create a recipient email so we can add our recipient email here so I will add xyz at the rate gmail.com and you can add your recipient's email here and we can uh, call this email function which we created and in here we can pass uh, these two variables which we are getting here the receiver's email and the content which we will get through the command function so after the email is sent we want our AI assistant to tell us that the email was successfully sent so we will do email we will call the speak function and pass a string that will be email has been sent so send. and after this we will create an exception block we will do accept exception as e and we will print the exception what we are getting and we will again call our speak function and we want our AI assistant to let us know that it was unable to unable to send the email so that's it for now so if you run this function and if we tell it to send email so it will try to get the command or whatever message we want to say or tell it so let me just try to show you uh, a demo of it but i am not going to add my email here but you can uh, easily add your email and the recipient email here and you can try it yourself and you also need to uh, enable the less secure apps in your gmail account so i will be leaving the link to that in the resources uh, part and you can go there and add your go to the less secure app and activate the less secure app in your gmail and let me just add your the content what we are getting so we will just uh, try to get the content we want our AI assistant uh, to tell us the content for now and I will just uh, try to comment this line and I will save it and I'll run it welcome back sir the current time is 8 hours 30 minutes and 6 seconds the current date is 15 but 2020 Good evening, sir. Jarvis in your service. Please tell me how can I help you. Jarvis sent email. What should I say? This is a test email. This is a test email. Go offline, Jarvis. So as you guys can see, it is able to like uh, send the email as well. So I have not added my email and credentials here, but you can easily add your email credentials and you can try it yourself. So. Let's just move to the next session of this course.